Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saf. In today's session, I will walk you through the state diagram flow chart using Mermaid. Let's get started. We already understand the basic of flow chart and also created a graph flow chart in previous video. Please go through it for reference. Few things we have to understand about the state diagram before jumping to create one. First, define the state diagram. Version 2. Create a node. Here you see we get a round edges node. Let's try to define any other type of node as we did earlier. You see we are unable to do that. So only one type of node possible in state diagram that is round edges node. In graph type flow chart we can easily put word inside the square bracket. But here we cannot do that. If we put a word with a space inside a node then it is treated as two separate nodes just like that. Here to put multiple words in a node we first have to define the node. For that type state name say f then put the description after the colon. Here you see the keyword mermaid graph is present in one node. Once you define the node with description then you simply use that node to create a chart. You may also define the state with a description like state then put the description in double quote as state name you want to assign. Let's say I want to assign S2. Here you see changes updated. One important thing you also have to look you not be able to define the keyword between the edges as we are doing in the graph flow chart. To do in state diagram you have to define it at the end of second node. That is to put the word in between the edge of S1 and S2 you have to define at the end of S2. By putting the colon first and then defining the description. I hope you got clear till yet. Back to our topic. To understand the state diagram, let's consider a problem statement. Suppose we want to create a state diagram for the ATM system. Let's jump on it. Generally, we first define the start state and then define other states. But here we are using state with description. So we need to first initialize the initial state. For that, initialize the insert card state as we discussed earlier. Now define the start state. Link the start state with insert card state as ATM flow start with inserting card. One important tip here is after defining the initial state also define the end state as well as it is the development of flow chart. As we know the end state of ATM system is by ejecting card. So let's define it. Also define the stop state and link it with the eject card state. Ok, our initial and final state is ready. Now back to the initial state to continue further. Once we insert the card, ATM machine start reading the card detail. Create a reading card state after the insert card. While reading a card, we have two options. Either the card is valid or invalid. Let's say card is invalid due to magnetic chip being broken or card is expired. In that case transaction ended and ejected the card. So connect the reading card state with the eject card state when the card is invalid. 
we have to put invalid card description in between the edges to understand the flow as we already look at the starting of the video we have to define the description at the end of second node then it will be reflected in between the edge let's do it look changes are updated if the card is valid then further it read the pin and validate it create another state reading pin also define the description card read successfully you can also use break tag here again while reading the pin we have two option either the pin is valid or invalid say pin is invalid then transaction in and eject the card so connect the reading pin state with eject card state when pin is invalid define the description invalid pin as well now suppose pin is valid then multiple option are display on the screen like withdraw money checking balance resetting atm pin etc so we have to select any transaction to perform it create another state select transaction also define the description let's say i don't want to select any transaction or maybe i want to cancel the current session then in that case transaction is cancelled and it eject the card so connect the select transaction state with eject card state define that description transaction cancelled if we select any option for transaction then it perform the transaction create perform transaction state also define the description selected transaction once transaction is performed let's say we withdraw money then we again get an option to view balance or end the transaction in that case we also have to connect perform transaction state to select transaction state so we again select the transaction and perform it or end it the session also define the description once we are done with the transaction that is when transaction is completed then it eject the card so connect the perform transaction state with eject card state also define transaction completed as description we can also put notes for a particular state as well first zoom the preview diagram just toggle the zoom view and then double tap to zoom in it now back to our topic 
like suppose i want to put a note for eject card state for that type note then define the position where you want to put the note that is either left or right of the node let's say left of the node then define the state name in this case put e now you can type the message in the next line suppose i want to put a reminder message to collect a card let's say don't forget to collect the card after putting the message in the notes as well type in the note here you see it look amazing that's it our state diagram flow chart is ready one thing important here is that this state diagram for atm is not accurate we only consider a few steps to give a brief overview once we are done with the flow chart we can easily download it just click on action click on the format you want to save it and it's done open the flow chart now you simply use it in your project documentation and repo as well that's all from my side in the next video we will create a git and pie chart for queries or any doubt please leave a comment below see you in next video till then happy learning